Marburg is a highly contagious disease that causes hemorrhagic fever, and it tends to have a fatality rate of around 50%. However, previous outbreaks have seen it kill up to 88% of people who contract it, according to the World Health Organization. The virus is in the same family as the virus that caused Ebola and has caused concern among health officials. It has an incubation period of between 2 and 21 days. Humans can be infected by the virus if they spend a lot of time in mines and caves inhabited by Rosetta's bat colonies. Once a human is infected, it can jump from human to human via direct contact with the blood, through cuts, excretions, or contact with bodily fluids and organs from infected people. Surfaces can become contaminated with these fluids, leading to people to contract the disease. Those who contract the virus begin to notice symptoms quickly. Sufferers will experience symptoms of high fever, severe headache and discomfort, as well as severe watery diarrhea, abdominal pain and cramping. The diarrhea can persist for a week, while nausea and vomiting can begin three days after contracting the disease. Those who experience the virus have been described looking ghost-like, with drawn features, deep-set eyes, expressionless faces and extreme lethargy. Sufferers can also get non-itchy rashes between two and seven days after symptoms start. Many patients develop severe hemorrhoids within a week, which can cause severe bleeding in multiple parts of the body, including from the nose, gums and vagina. Those severely affected by the disease report sustained high fevers and irritability of the central nervous system. Inflammation of the testicles, or chitis, has been reported by some sufferers of the disease, around 15 days in. When people die from the disease, death usually occurs between 8 and 9 days after onset. This often is a result of severe blood loss and shock. There is not currently a proven treatment for the virus, but potential treatments including blood products, immune therapies and drug therapies are being evaluated. Treatment of the specific symptoms and rehydration makes survival more likely, 